Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. We are doing mm -hmm. another video where we talk about your photographs yes. of your helmets. I break down my thoughts on the helmet. Steve breaks down his thoughts on the photos, tells you how you can make them better so you can have nice, sexy social posts to tell Share. your thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers that yes. I'm sure that you have. And if you want to see your stuff on this show, email your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com. It might take us a couple of weeks or months to get to it, but we will get to it. And if you make it on the show, you will get something for free, whether it be a decal or a flag, we don't know, just keep on sending your pictures. And this is what the question of the day is. I want you to leave your comments below. You ready for this one, Steve? I like questions. Here's the question. If we start carrying hats with our logo, which I think that we should and that we will, you tell us what's your favorite type of hat below. Dad hat, trucker hat, knit hat, cowboy hat, bucket hat, hats, 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 hats. There's all kinds of hats. There's, There's way more hats. We've started looking into it. There's way more hats. I only wear a couple of types of hats. I'm not wearing. So many hats. First up, Derek. Derek. All right, Derek, let's see what you got. I'm going to give this a, a grade of 1 to 10, as we do with all of them. And I'm going to go right out of the gate here. Love the color. Blue. This is like a satin blue this is was painted this has been reconditioned this color you can tell because there's some battle scars underneath the paint i think it's cool as far as the pictures are concerned the one of it real low in the grass i think that that's awesome it's a forced perspective it looks like the grass is that tall but it's not i don't know it's the, great great and the story that i see here is that derek is so excited about football. He just got his helmet back from reconditioning. He's got a brand new face mask on it. He's got a brand brand new fresh paint job that he's never seen before. Yeah. And he can't even contain himself. He has to go outside, take pictures before it even gets decals put on it by the team. That's a hell of a yard uh, or, or a park. It's something of a movie is My what it looks like. My goodness. So I'm gonna All start right. off here. I love this paint job so much, red, white, and blue. And I'm gonna go with a 6.7. Okay. That's another good baseline to start off with. It's a lot. Yeah. I, mean, that, I don't know, just, I love those paint jobs. I get it. I do. This is a second time that this guy has sent them in, and the last time they were equally awesome. This mm. one, um, interesting. I'm going to say this is by NH. If I didn't know any better NH, I would think that this is like a helmet that came from the team or was I would say no shot doubt. shot from you know, like by the team. You know what I love about the back of this? Look says, at the look at the warning label. Yeah, and I I know that with this design, this is how they did it. That's cool. So we got the 3D bumpers, which are legit. Yep. Because we shipped them up to the teams, and I I know what those those look like. You got the airborne. You got the, and you got Ranger three times. That means something. I don't know what it means, but it's got to mean something. You got it there three times, right? right. Twenty one. I'm sure that was probably whoever number twenty one was. Yeah. And then look at the the. It says Black Knights here on the, uh, on the chin strap. Yep. Um, we've done that to some chin straps. Uh, Empire Graphics on Instagram. If you don't follow them, go check out Empire Graphics. They do uh, some of these logos for the chin straps. They're phenomenal. Yeah, They've sent us some, or he sent us some, and they, they came out looking great. I'm going to go with a 9.5 either way. Go. I love this. And, you know, last week I only gave the, the Maryland helmet a 9, Yeah. and it was amazing. But I don't know, this one... Just this feels one. different. Feels different. These are only worn in one game. Next up, Johan. Uh, I'm sorry, man. You are going to get. This is the ghetto helmet build made from my sixth grade helmet. Give me your thoughts. Ghetto. Someone is calling their own helmet ghetto. Let's see what we got here. I'm not sure you're ready for this. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> okay. It, what is this, saran wrap? Yes. With a, with a, and then, then heated with a hair dryer? Yeah. I know. I... I'm not laughing at you, and you know what I'm laughing at. The, the visor, <laughs> <laughs> the decals but on what the are side. These? I don't know. Are these like little walking sperms? I guess these are, these are feet, and they're... I'm speechless. You win the internet today with this one. I'm not sure how to describe it. I don't know. I mean... Overall, it's pretty basic, but the, the eight made out of the tape, that's fine. I've seen that, but the visor. I think, I think Johan here is trying to be funny. And, I think and, so, and, too. And I, I love the, uh, the, the humor of this one. I'm going to give this guy a 2.2. Johan. 2.2. Just spend it 30, 40 bucks on a 
visor and you're going to go to a 5.2. I think he's. I think, he, I think he was going for as low as he could go. I think you win so yeah. far. All yeah. right, let's Love shake that one off. On. Uh, next up, Gonzalo. Now, this one actually has that story that you love so much. I'm wondering if this is in the United States or not. I would say not a chance. N no. Not a chance. No. For a few reasons, I would just say no. Uh, the color combinations. Yep. So that decal on the side looks far more like a sticker than a decal. It looks kind of faded. It's a boar, I believe, kind of right? ripped up. Uh, could be. I thought for some reason I was thinking a dog, but at some point. But the I, fact that we don't know for sure. Things been worked. Is part of is part of it. So not a good job with the decal. No. At some point, it probably looked good, but when you take a regular sticker and put it on a helmet, this is what's going to happen. Looks like this started off as a Kelly Green helmet underneath, and then because we can see some Kelly Green coming through with either that or he, I don't know, stuck some grass on here somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely the paint. The paint's getting worn down. You know that 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 happens. Have you ever and seen the chin strap in like that caution orange? I I've I don't never... know if. No, I don't know if that's actually caution orange. If it just kind of looks like that compared to all the other colors out there, because you do have an orange. Stripe, but it's not really, it's not the same type of orange. It's straight up Halloween, man. It's orange with black writing on it. I, I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to, to me, the, I don't know. To me, none of these colors work well together. Do they? I mean, you're, 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 the, you're the art guy. Uh, yeah, I don't think that green and orange go bad together with the white. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I honestly don't. Maybe it's the maybe it is that the caution orange it's looking what it is. of the it's chin just, strap that's just jumping in there. It's like a little parking cone in there. I'm gonna give Gonzala here four point three. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Losing a lot of points on the decal. Next up, Jeremy. Now, all right, Jeremy. Here's something that no one has done yet. My man oh. went out, set up a road flare. Cool. He, he's got it set up on this bridge. And he, he kind of laid out the chin straps nice and... Seriously. He centered it. It's perfect. The one on the side, with the right in the middle of the road with the, um, the double yellow lines. Which means this had to be taken at a time of night when there's no traffic on this road. This looks like it's a downtown area. Right? 100%. And I'm telling you, like, look at the yellow traffic lights. Like, with the, I think he meant that with the yellow lines in the road. If so, it goes with the overall color aesthetics. Like, this is awesome. This is what I'm guessing here from, a, from an artistic um, uh, photography standpoint. I don't think he knows what he's doing at all. Yeah, and he's trying. Uh, fine, I'm okay with that because the, because it, because photo wise they're not great quality, meaning like it wasn't it taken was dark with outside. a real yeah. And if it was taken with a real good high end camera, the dark shouldn't be a problem. Well, and granted, I'm not a photographer, so Steve, you are. But do you get the feeling that you can sometimes get some really cool, interesting, unique looks from someone? who doesn't know what they're doing because they don't know what they're doing. Because if they knew what they were doing, they would do it differently. Or they wouldn't do it at all. Or you wouldn't have the little happy accidents like with the yellow traffic light in the back. Like maybe he didn't time that. But to me, I'm saying, I'm thinking he did. Because even when you look at the one from the front, it's got a yellow and a red visor tab. Thanks for having fun with that. The helmet though, Steve, we haven't talked about the helmet yet. It, oh yeah. It's a, it's fine. It's a, it's a revolution <laughs> helmet. Yeah. Overall, again, not a fan of the helmet, but we got a red mask, we got a red helmet, we got a red chin strap. Everything kind of matches. We got the chin strap that's coming onto the outside yeah. of the of the uh, helmet, or excuse me, of the face mask bars. I'm going to go out on a limb and give this guy a 7.1. Mm, very nice. All right, maybe some of, the, some of the photography was built into that. I think so. Thank you, Jeremy. Next up, Evan O. And that's Evan O. Evan O. I like these for a couple of reasons. It's obviously in like a very high grass um, feel. Well, that's, they need to, they need to, they're going to cut the grass. They just got to cut all. it. But it looks like he did like yearbook style and actually got like signatures and teammates and people like best wishes and to sign on it. It's an SG helmet, right? Which we don't see many. Well, yeah, we don't see many SG helmets anymore and we're not going to see them we're gonna see them less and less into the future as they kind of get cycled out. SG was bought out by light helmets. They changed, tweaked the design a little bit, tweaked the face mask a little bit. So now you're gonna see the light branding on them going forward in the future. And this one's not gonna be used on the field anymore because it's got a bunch of signatures because 
it's probably his graduated. Yeah, he graduated, or he, he's on to the next thing. Uh, the white helmet with the the C looks like a, a Cincinnati Reds C yes. on the helmet. I'm wondering if this is an alternate helmet for the same school, or if there's some kind of meaning behind that. We got a, a clear shock 1.0 visor with an iridium insert nice. on it. Nice which looks cool. Yeah, of course we love those. And overall, I think that we what we've got here is some pretty clean looks. We've got Seattle blue face masks and matching decals. To me, you can't go wrong. I don't know with white helmets, so much looks good, and I, and I think that sometimes less is more. I say it all the time, and these just look clean. Say that again. Sometimes I, I I say this all the time. Sometimes less is more, and these just look clean. That's right. Go Tigers. So I'm giving this an average score now because you get sent in multiple pictures of helmets yep. or pictures of multiple helmets you get an average score and i'm going to go average on this guy is going to be a 6.2 i had a feeling yeah okay next up jorel jorel is it like neil Dazad kind of thing like son of jorel I, yeah. I, I think so yeah, yeah. um okay yeah. that's definitely definitely mm -hmm. all right so we got some homemade touches done here on the face mask brand new helmet no doubt yes. you got shut vengeance brand new this is what a brand new paint job looks like and this is from the manufacturer this is not reconditioned this is looking looking clean a nice simple uh what appears to be a one inch stripe maybe a three quarter inch stripe clean it says pit on the side nice and clean it looks like we got an elite tech visor with a shock insert on it mm -hmm. the face mask Let's talk about that face mask. Let's talk about that face mask. It's not paint. It's probably just electrical tape. I'm thinking athletic tape. Okay. Either yeah. way, the design and the idea is cool. Why don't you just do the top to match it if you're going to do it? Yeah. I, and I got to say, I, I don't know how I feel about this look. I, I, don't, I don't love the look. I think it's okay. I, I like what they were going for. This isn't in the U.S., I don't think, because... Well, it looks like we've got... Uh, some chrome flags there on the back. If he's not in the U.S., but he still wants to say, hey, we're playing American football. Exactly. That's, that's better than nothing. We'll allow it. Yeah. Uh, no chin straps. You got rid of the chin strap. So it's interesting that you're taking the time to put the uh, some, some athletic tape on the face mask. The rest of the helmet looks great. Yes. The, you got, you got a, a cool visor in there. You've even got some cool decals in the back. I don't see a warning label on here, so maybe this is a warning label that needs that has been removed because you don't like the way it looks. Um, we've got, I think we got, do we have orange warning labels? Might we, look cool on here. But we definitely, we've got white. Um, I'm overall, you know, I like the, I, I love black helmets. I, I'm going to say you're actually going to lose points for the help, for the face mask, athletic tape. Yeah. Yeah. On this one. Yeah. Um, but you're going to gain points, some points in some other areas, and I'm going to go with a six. Yeah. We don't I, see I, many vengeance. Not at all. Vengeances. Ven, vengeance I. Yeah. Uh, next up, Richie. I'm starting this off with a little thing. So he says, my name is Richie. I'm 13 years old. Youth football team uh, that won the CTY, the Connecticut Youth nice. Football League. It's a fellow nutmegger here. <laughs> yeah. um, my Riddell Speed Flex helmet on the right and my brother's on the left with Under Armour in it. And he set it up Wow! with the champion trophy. That, that trophy's got to be four feet tall. <laughs> it's a beast of a trophy because the <laughs> helmet is that tall. That I am also from Connecticut. For you people that are out there, it's a t very tight knit community, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. For the people who have never been there. <laughs> um, so again, we've got white and blue, and this one's mixed in some silver. So we got a good look. We've got uh, Riddell Speed Flex helmets. We got one with a looks like an Under Armour visor. Pretty standard setups, but it is a good design. Anyway, and the pictures yeah. are cool. I agree, and it's really all about the pictures for this one. And that ridiculously oversized, awesome trophy. <laughs> So there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. I don't know. I'm not gonna include the trophy in my into my grading <laughs> scale on this one, but I'm gonna go with a six point eight. Yeah, it can't be more than that. I like the fact that it's he and his brother. They did win. And, yeah. Win the championship. Congratulations there for you that. Go. Congrats. That's right. Next up, Braden. All right, Braden. Braden's got the new Zenith Shadow helmet. It's so yeah. goofy. It's so goofy that it's cool. It, I mean, whenever a new helmet comes out, the comments that you guys want to leave below are always, it looks like this, it looks like that, it looks like a, 
a motocross helmet. It looks like a you know a motorcycle helmet. It looks like a Power Rangers helmet. And that you, to me, you can't look at this face mask and not think Power. This is this is like Red I Ranger agree. written all over it, right? Yeah, no doubt. So if you are a Power Ranger guy or gal, this is the helmet for you. You know for what? Sure. You know what I find interesting with this helmet? I love how they put like they integrated their X in the yeah. vents. They've done I that. Think They've done that for a little while now. To me, you know what this looks like? It looks like that Japanese... Looks like the back of a car, doesn't it? I think Zenith cuts their chin straps like that out of the gate, right? Absolutely. But do. I mean, like, if there is nothing else that Zenith figured out, the one thing that they have is how to make stuff look cool and different. I don't know. Yeah, you could debate whether or not it looks cool. Right, but, but it's certainly it certainly different. looks different. They're they're going for a certain type of look, and they started that a few years ago, and they're con going they're continuing down that path. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It is definitely a more polarizing yeah. look. This is the first time we've had a shadow. So I'm gonna give bonus yeah. points for sending in the first photo of a shadow helmet and go with nice. seven point one. I, I'm telling you, take that and run. <laughs> uh, last up, that was right. fast. Leonard. Come on, Leonard. Let's see what you got here. Interesting. Isn't it another different style? This is a Rawlings helmet. And is this a Tachyon? This is not a Rawlings Tachyon. I believe this would be a Rawlings Impulse. Gotcha. And I got to say, Rawlings has now been out of the helmet game for a few years. I think four. And I was really hoping Rawlings was going to make a move to stay in helmets. What we were finding is that with the Rawlings helmets, as they started getting older, they kind of age, the, the, the components age quickly. Internally, especially. Yeah, yeah, which tells me the quality of them wasn't wasn't great. Well, this is think. 2017. If this, which, is, if this is 2017, that could be, it says initial season 2017, so this must this have been one of the last, last, yeah, the last, last ones. You might want to not play with that and put it in a trophy case somewhere. I think that they, when they stopped making them, they they, they had a three years where you could get like parts and wow, that's it. stuff, and that's it. That's it. Whoa. But here's the thing that jumped out at me originally with this helmet is look at the placement of the decal. So forward. Of the bull. Yeah. I like it. Got a Barnett shield on. Everything about this photo looks like it's almost from another era. I agree. In, the, in that it, you know, when I say that, it's because Rawlings is no longer making helmets in this era, and this era obviously ended in 2017, which was not that long ago. But same thing with Barnett. I mean, Barnett used to had a lot of visors that were getting cranked out years ago, and now you don't see them anymore. And 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 I don't know where this is, but you don't see a lot of terracotta roofs, <laughs> and that's like a legit terracotta roof. Well, around where we are, you certainly don't. No. So I just wonder yeah. where this is. Um, interesting thing, tidbit of the day about uh, Rawlings. Mm -hmm. So you had the Impulse, yeah. you had the Tachyon, and those are both powers. That's right. Those are you know, from the Star Trek universe. And I, I mean, I'm, I know that those came from Star Trek, took them from science. Yes. I, I, was, I was like, I can't wait to see what they did, named the helmet next, and then the, they just stopped. The Tachyon Amplifier. That's all that we had, man. What are you giving Leonard? I'm going to give Leonard because it's a helmet that just is 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 gone. I'm going to give him a seven point one. It went the way Why of the not? dodo bird. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Hold it's on, gone. it's going to be a collector's item someday. Leave your comments below. What would you have named the next Rawlings helmet? Yeah, let if, us if, know. And, and do you just like my idea of dilithium? And that would be a <laughs> great name for a helmet. They love your idea, Jay. Yeah, well, the dilithium crystal was the thing that powered the Enterprise. The, the, the crystal the, the ships. Oh, okay. I wasn't a Star Trek guy. Yeah. Obviously. We got to wrap it up. We're out of here. Yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Leave your comments below on what kind of hat you want to see us making. That's right. And if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you're alerted when we put them out there. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.